Hi friends, I am here on the Friend Center rooftop garden. Today, before we start our activity, we're going to take a nature walk around our school. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look for some really cool leaves or plants or flowers that I would like to use for my very own nature picture. Let's take a look and see what we have in our garden. So here, I really like that this leaf is green and it also has all of these little pointy pieces. So I'm going to pick one of those for our picture. As I was walking around our school, I found this stem of leaves. I really liked it because of the bright green color and also all the little spikes on each end of this leaf. There's also more than one leaf on this stem. Let's count, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And when we flip it over, let's take a look at the veins in this leaf. I also found this small green leaf here. It's not as wide as the one we just found but I'm going to add it to our collection. As I was on my search for a leaf, I found this tiny green grasshopper. We won't take this leaf for our collection, but we'll choose one of the others to keep him safe. I hope you enjoyed your nature walk. I really enjoyed walking around Friend Center, listening to all the birds. I even found an insect on my nature walk. So I hope you enjoyed yours. First, what we have to do is collect all of our materials that we're going to use for our nature collage. I'm using what we have here at Friend Center, but you can use what you have at home. So I gathered some markers, glue, a hole puncher, scissors, all of our leaves and flowers that we collected on our nature walk, some tape, and some crayons. Now let's get started. So first what you want to do is take a look at all of the leaves and flowers that you collected. And we're going to sort them by size, color, and shape. So I'm going to take a look at my leaves, and I see I have some brown leaves, I have some smaller round leaves, I have some small round green leaves, and I even have this pointy leaf. Do you see where in our collection that there's another leaf that looks like this? I'm going to start over here and take a look. I don't see any long pointy leaves here. Does this look the same as this? I think I need to keep looking. And here, I think these look pretty close. I'm going to put these together in the front. Now I see I have some small brown leaves, so I'm going to go on a search for all of those in our collection. This is a brown leaf, but is it as small as this one? I don't think so. I'm going to put this one back and I'm going to look for another leaf that looks like this. Here it is. I'm going to put these together over here. Next, let's look for our round green leaves that look like this. Let's take a look. Do these look the same? Nope, I'm going to keep looking. How about these? I think these two are a match. I'm going to keep looking and see if I have any more. This one looks like these. The 
this one, this one. I found a lot of these green leaves. And this one here. Let's count together and see how many of these leaves we found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven leaves. Eleven is a one and a one. So I'm going to put these in a pile here. Next, I'm going to look for all of my brown leaves that look like this. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven brown leaves. I'm going to put them in a pile right there. How about these small leaves? They kind of look like a propeller. They're fun to twirl. Let's count. How many did we find? One, two, three, four, five. Seven, and there was one hiding, eight. Eight of these little tiny green leaves. And next, these right here. Do you see how many are on our table left? One, two, Three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to put those right in front. Okay, friends, now that we have all of our leaves sorted, we are ready to start making a creation with our leaves and flowers. I'm going to start with this really big pointy leaf here and I'm going to add it right to the center. And you can make whatever picture you like. I'm going to add my glue to the back. Remember, just a dot, not a lot. Okay, I'm going to put this in the center. Press down so your creation sticks to your paper. And now I want to add this pretty flower that we found. I'm going to put a little dot up the stem of this flower. And I want this to go right here. Right on the bottom. You might have to Hold it for a little bit to stick. And it looks like I made a letter with the stems. Do you know what letter that is? Can you see that? All right. It looks like the letter T. Can you make any letters with your creation? Now, I'm going to take this leaf. And I'm going to use my hole puncher to add some holes to our leaf first. Mm, I think I'm going to add five holes. So there's two, three, four, and 
foundation. I'm going to put a glue dot on the back. And this I'm going to put right here in the corner of my picture. Just like that. Now you have these little tiny leaf holes. And now you have these little tiny leaf circles that you can also use for your picture. I'm going to give this one little dot of blue and put it right here in this corner. Just like that. And this one will go here. Might stick to your finger a little bit, that's okay. Now I want to use some of our brown leaves that we found. I'm going to use, let's see. I really like this one. This one has a little tiny hole in it. Maybe a bug had it as a snack. So I'm going to add that to our picture. colors to our picture next. I'm going to put it on this side. Yeah. And I like that the stem on this is sticking up a little bit. It makes it 3D. So I'm going to leave it like that. Just keep going and choosing what leaves you like and deciding where you want them to go. If you want to take one of your crayons and see if maybe you can write on one of the leaves. Let's see if it will show up. I'm going to trace the veins of these leaves right here. Now, I want to add my name to it, so I'm going to flip this over, and Chrissy starts with the letter K. So I'm going to do a K right here, straight down, slant in, slant out. K. Next letter is R, and I'm going to leave it right here. letter is I. So I'm going to add that right here. Straight down and a dot. I. The next two letters are double letters. That means that they're the same letter right next to each other. An S and another S. And my Y, I'm going to put on this side, slant down, and another slant down. Right here, Y. I hope you had fun making a nature collage with me, and I hope you have a great day. See you soon.